from the West Valley Neighborhood Alliance on Homelessness. Tom's also with the West Hills Neighborhood Council, and thank you so much to all the Neighborhood Council board members and committee members and everyone for the Neighborhood Council Homelessness Alliance, led by uh, Mario, Julian, and team, and really for all their leadership and efforts. So let's give a warm welcome to Tom Bui from the West Valley Neighborhood Alliance and West Hills Neighborhood Council. Welcome, Tom. And team. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for setting this up in Power LA, and we'd like to have the opportunity to come out and group together to figure out you know, how we can solve the problem of homelessness, which I still believe it is uh, a solvable issue. So, uh, basically, we want to just talk a little bit about um, our West Valley Neighborhood Alliance and what we're trying to do. We uh, originally, me and an, my addition, uh, fellow co-worker uh, Simone Best, about four years ago, got together and we're trying to start a fledgling uh, homelessness committee with our neighborhood council in West Hills. And we realized that it made more sense to have multiple West, uh, multiple neighborhood councils in our area together because this is more of a regional issue uh, than it is just an individual neighborhood council issue. So we started to like reach out and grab more and more into an alliance. And we also start to kind of leverage our position in the neighborhood council to get elected officials on board and also to, to try to in, and also involve faith communities and local uh, service agencies. So what our, our game plan basically was just kind of bring everybody together and try to see what we could do to kind of further uh, uh, break down myths about homelessness and also bring extra information to the community. And so our future plans, we're gonna have uh, Brandy Grace uh, from Porter uh, Ranch Neighborhood Council discuss what our future plans are. And also Jeffrey Minter is here today from Reseda Neighborhood Council, all part of our alliance. And those both discuss about future plans. Thank you. I'm shorter, I have to move this down. Hello everybody. So, <clears throat> As everybody knows, this is an issue that affects everybody, including all the way up in the North Valley area. And what's interesting is there, there are different issues that impact different communities in a slightly different way. Sometimes we have issues because the community itself may be resistant to certain solutions that are presented by other parts of the community. And sometimes the community's structure or environment sets up unique issues that we have to deal with. So the Alliance tries to help all the communities come together and discuss things regardless of their personal preferences, positions, or politics. We all work together, learn to trust each other, and learn to understand and validate each other's concerns and issues while brainstorming solutions. So some of the solutions we've come up with that we're working toward right now on top of the um, fairs that we've done for education of the communities is to have a homelessness job fair. Uh, we're also talking about doing an event to educate landowners and landlords in the area if they want to convert their places to be able to accept Section 8 and help connect those, as well as providing resources for the individual neighborhood councils that, like myself, I run our homelessness co uh, committee. And we've gone out and actually helped the people directly in our community handing out food or supplies or just helping them to get situated and, and set up with the resources that exist with the city and county, as well as helping people to understand what is bridge housing? What is permanent supportive housing? Why do I care? Why do I need it? How does it impact us? How does it impact my property values? All of these are valid questions that need to have serious answers and we try very hard to provide that information while continuing to grow trust, understanding, and solutions for the Valley. Um, there, also we uh, do some political um, things, you know, we are part of neighborhood councils. Um, what's important that I see we're doing is uh, there's housing that's being built in multiple locations or attempting and uh, we will help the neighborhood council local and get people to attend or outreach and uh, also support the idea in general. I don't really have much to say about that, but um, not very talkative. Thank you. So thank you so much for like, giving us an opportunity to come down and share with everybody. And uh, thanks again to Empower LA for providing a great resource for us together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much again to our great team. And thank you guys so much for your great leadership and efforts. All the neighborhood council board members do amazing work out there. So thank you guys so much for your leadership and efforts on the Neighborhood Council Homelessness Alliance and everything that you did in the 